Hi, okay, so we're in Adobe Illustrator here, and we're gonna have a look at how we take some basic type, as we have on the, the right-hand side here, um, into a format like this, where we have this nice gradient um, dropped behind it, okay? There's a couple of different things that we'll cover as we do this, so follow along, and we'll run through all the techniques that you need to create this look for your type. So we're gonna just zoom out um, a little bit here. Now, on the right-hand side here, we have some editable type. So it's in Frutiger, light standard, um, and it's a black italic uh, font, so kind of a heavy font. And this is what works quite nicely with this kind of look. So we're gonna grab the selection tool and come across and just duplicate this. So we can either go to edit, and copy and edit and paste, or we can just hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag a new version down to the middle here, which is where we'll work, okay? So we'll um, just double click in here because we're not working on the gray background anymore, and we'll convert the fill for this type to black, okay? So just making sure the fill is in the foreground in our swatches that we selected up here on the right-hand side. Okay, so we're working with this font initially. Now the first thing we, we need to do, and this is part of the reason for duplicating it, is always keep a backup of the original type that we set. Okay, because once we've worked with this type, we won't be able to edit it in the same way. So the next step we're gonna go through is go to type, and we're gonna convert this to outlines, okay? So this converts to outlines now, and that means that now once that's out as outlines, we can treat it like a normal shape. So the way that we get um, this kind of fat shape around the outside of the word buzz here is by using an outline, okay? And then we'll actually make that outline or the shape that that outline forms into its own individual shape, which is then how we drop the gradient into there. So we'll first of all duplicate this again. So we're gonna go to edit and copy and this time we're gonna to go to edit and paste in place. Now this feature means that we paste the type in exactly the same spot as the type behind it. So we don't have things misaligned. So we'll paste in place, and I'm just gonna convert the fill of this type now to red, just so you can see that when I move this, we have two versions of that text that we're working with. So we'll just go to edit, undo, okay? And now we're gonna create the outline. So we'll come across to the stroke here, which is where we create our outlines, and we're gonna click here to show the options. We need to edit some of the options as we add an outline to our type here, okay? So we're gonna start with around eight points, okay? And we're gonna align the stroke to the outside of that text, okay? So you can see now the text is starting to get nice and fat, and we'll actually just take this up to 14 points, and then we get that nice real blocky uh, feel to the type. Okay, now you can see we've got a gradient in the background here already, which looks kind of cool, but actually we want to get that nice solid uh, fill behind it. So to do this, we need to expand this object so that it can be its own shape. So if we go to object, expand appearance, okay, you can see now we've turned that outline um, into a shape itself, okay? Now what we want to do is actually take all those different shapes. So if we zoom in here, we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. So we've made our type, we've outlined it, added a stroke to that shape, so it's those letters that are now shapes, and then we've converted that to a shape as well. But we want to make this all into one whole shape. We're going to use the Pathfinder tool for that, okay? Now, if you've not used the Pathfinder tool before, then it's a really cool tool. It gives you a lot of flexibility to do some different things in Illustrator, and it's one of the tools that you can really get creative with when you're working with your designs in Illustrator. So we're going to go to Window, scroll down, and look for the Pathfinder here, okay? So this is how we um, add shapes together, subtract things from shapes, and that kind of stuff. And we're just gonna add or unite all these shapes together, okay? So now you see we get one solid uh, gradient um, that we're working with, okay? So now we can go ahead and come to our gradient panel on the right-hand side here, okay? Now if you're not seeing all these panels that I'm seeing here, just go to Window, Workspace, and reset essentials, and that will give you the same panels that I'm currently using. So reset essentials, and you'll see the gradient panel on the right-hand side here. So we'll jump in here, okay? We're already using um, a linear gradient um, for this fill here, okay? So we're gonna jump down here and just use this orange to yellow gradient, okay? now. Once we have a gradient set up, we can go in and we can actually edit uh, the kind of flow of the gradient. So you can see we're going from a yellow 
to a darker orange and orange on the right hand side here. If we double click on these little sliders, we can edit the gradient. Okay, so we can change it so we have an orange tint on the left hand side here and so on and so forth. We can also pull off um, parts of our gradient here, okay, and drag these around so that it changes the, the kind of flow or the look and feel of the gradient, okay? So we can come back to that a little bit later. Now what we want to do is arrange this object so it moves behind the other text layer that we've got, okay? So if we go to Object, the Object menu at the top here, Arrange, and Center Back, we're going to send this behind that other text, okay? And if you're doing a lot of work in Illustrator, I'd really encourage you to get used to these shortcuts because they're super useful um, all the time, okay? So you can see now we've got our original type in the center here, and then that nice kind of gradient flowing behind the type, okay? So we'll just flip this text, the fill of this text back to white. So I'm gonna expand that gray back here, and then just go to Object, Arrange, and center back to send it behind everything. And you can see now we end up with this text with the gradient behind it. Now, if we click on the, the block here, we're just gonna add one more effect here. So we'll come across to the effects panel, okay? And we're gonna come down to the FX here to add a new drop shadow, okay? So we're gonna to go to stylize, okay? Under illustrator effects and drop shadow. And we'll turn on preview here just so that we can see what's happening. So I've got my offset um, and my blur set up here. So my X offset and my Y offset are set to zero. So the, the drop shadow isn't dropping one way or another. It's right behind the, the text. And then my blur is at three millimeters. And I drop my opacity back um, to 55, or I could even drop it back to 45. Because all we really want that drop shadow to do is just kind of pop that text out from the background, okay? So you can see we end up with a real uh, kind of nice looking design there um, with this text effect. Okay, we can also do this with individual um, letters as well. So if we draw out um, a type layer, okay, so for instance, if we type in a B here and then to type and create outlines, okay, we can then copy that, paste it in place, and then work with the outlines okay to increase the the width of those outlines behind it so so 15 here okay and then object so this is the same process expand expand that out and then we end up with this kind of nice fat shape again that we can work with okay so in this instance we'll actually um, go to the, the pathfinder again so window pathfinder okay we'll unite that and then we'll just give this a, a solid fill this time. So we'll give it an orange fill and then drop it back behind our letter. And you see we end up with a nice kind of uh, backdrop to the, the B there as well. Okay, so that's how to do it with um, an individual uh, letter. Okay, and also how to do this effect with um, a word as well. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions about Illustrator, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Happy to answer any questions with a video tutorial here online. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.